guys welcome back to my channel so today I thought I'd do another little haul for you I say like another because I'm sure I did one like fairly recently but I have more products and I don't know how it happened um but it did well I do know how it happened I obviously bought them but it, it just happens I have like quite a few products that I like to share with you guys and I think I'm gonna film a get ready with me um, in a few days though, I think it'll be up probably next week. Um, I do have a few more exciting videos coming that I'm really excited about. Um, if you hear some kind of clicking in the background, I have my little electric radiator sat next to me. It's starting to get cold now and oil prices have gone like so high that I am waiting until it's like December before I turn the heating on in my flat. <laughs> And there's me just going like completely off topic. Really, you guys are here because you wanted to hear about like new skincare and makeup that you're going to be seeing kind of coming into my videos. So some of it is stuff that I've tried before and most of it, in fact 99% of it is new things. So if you want to see what I picked up, then please keep on watching. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you press that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload. And always do feel free to leave a comment down below if there's any products you'd like me to try out. I can certainly give that a go. So the first two products I picked up are oils. Now one of them I've tried before. Both of them are from The Ordinary. Now I heard The Ordinary was like going out of business almost. I'm not 100% what happened there. I think there's some problem like with the company. But they're not going out of business anymore, so it's alright, you can still get your hands on these. I mean, one of them is a little bit harder to get hold of than the other, but one of them I have used before. So the one I've used before is the 100% Organic Cold Press Moroccan Argan Oil. Honestly, I remember saying that on one of my first videos ever, and it took me about five or six times to be able to say that. So I'll just read it off the box, because otherwise there's not a chance I'm going to be able to say it without getting super tongue-tied. So this oil is one that you can use for both your hair and your skin. I just use it for my skin and I freaking love it. Like in the winter is when I use it most. I don't really need to use it so much in the summer. But this one retails for $5.99 and it's basically an oil that I use like just before, well, not just before I put my makeup on. You have to let it sink in before you put your makeup on top otherwise you're going to have some problems like I did recently when I put my, when I did that Clarins foundation test. I think the first time I tried it, it was down to the putting the oil on underneath the foundation. So do let this sink in for a good five or ten minutes before you put your makeup on. If you don't have time for that, then try using it at night instead. So I used this for my like dry flaky skin. Just before I started my channel, I was just getting so distressed with how my skin was just dry and flaky. and no matter which moisturiser I used, my skin was still just dry and flaky and horrible. And it's all in good, your makeup being amazing, but if your skin isn't nice underneath, this is where you're going to run into problems. So I picked this up and I freaking love it. And it is so affordable for like £6 basically. And it does come in this little bottle here. I have my old one, which is like empty. It's 30ml, so a full fluid ounce. And honestly, this has lasted me all year because I don't use it for my hair and I use it more in the winter months. I use it for about four or five months of the year and you only need like a very small amount. It has this little dropper. You only need a few drops really for your face. It hasn't ever broken me out and it just, it just helps so much with my dryness. I still need to exfoliate every now and again because when those dry patches show up, you are going to need to exfoliate. But I find this reduces them absolutely massively. I use it like religiously at least once a day. If you struggle with dry patches showing up even after using this, try it maybe twice a day. I wouldn't recommend using it more than twice a day. I think the problem with that is you end up being a bit greasy. I think if this one isn't working for you, maybe something, another oil might work a bit better. But I am coming to another oil shortly. So the next one I have is 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. Got that in one too. I'm very impressed with myself today. So this one is a little bit more expensive. This one is £9, which isn't expensive for an oil if you think about it. So the bottle looks exactly the same, but this oil is definitely for something different. This one you just use on your skin. I don't know in terms of hair, but to me, if you're going to use an oil for your hair, why not get the cheaper one? 
This one is supposed to do something different. This one I haven't tried before. I've seen a couple of like my favourite YouTubers use this, which is kind of why I wanted to try it. It's supposed to be good for age spots, filling in fine lines and wrinkles, and scarring. So, for example, if you've had like lots of acne in the past, or you have like certain like spots that have like scarred you, or I have like my little scar here, I'm hoping it's going to help fill in a bit of this. But honestly, I've seen it help people like just reduce the redness. And I often have like red patchy skin to begin with and I'm just hoping it's just going to tone and calm all that down because that way you can get away with wearing a lighter coverage foundation looking a bit more natural. Getting rid of that scarring is going to kind of make everything go on a little bit easier and it's just going to make your makeup look so much better. But the idea is I think this is also supposed to help with your dry skin so again once or twice a day. In combination with this, like say one at night, one in the morning, if you need that extra hydration, I don't think that using both of them together is going to do you any good. So the last product I got from The Ordinary is the High Adherence Silicone Primer. And you guys know I'm not like a primer person. I don't really believe in primers so much. However, my sister really likes this. And honestly, it was £4, so I don't feel too bad spending a little bit of money on a primer. Now, to me, primers are supposed to be for either making your makeup go on smoother or making it last longer. And this does claim to do both. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do like a wear test, like half my face with the primer, half without. We'll see how my normal makeup applies. I might test it with my CYO foundation because I know how long that lasts and I know how it applies. So I think that's what we're going to do. But this is like £4. It's oil and alcohol free. It's supposed to be blurring as well. Now I don't have like a massive pore problem. I'm fairly lucky. I don't have like huge pores. So I don't think I'm one of the best people to be able to direct you in if this like affects your pores or anything like that. If it breaks me out, that's a different kettle of fish. That I'll be able to let you know about. I break out all the time. I'm always trying new things, so definitely I know when I'm like breaking out because of a product. If you break out when using silicone primers, like there's a Maybelline baby skin and things like that, then just be wary in terms of this. But I'm looking forward to using it. It's quite like a big bottle of primer. It's a fluid ounce, like a foundation. I'm just, I'm hoping it works. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, although I don't believe in primer, I want to because I would like to just be able to just add that little step in and have something just go on a bit better or just, you know, wear a bit longer. So now moving on to the makeup, which we're always looking forward to. So I'm going to start with base products. I picked up a new concealer because I'm running out. I have like a few concealers that I tend to switch between. My Kiko Milano one, my Collection Lasting Perfection and my Revolution Whitener. I really enjoy those concealers. But I need to kind of step out of my comfort zone and try different ones. And this one was huge, so it caught my eye partially because of that. And I haven't actually tried anything, I don't think, ever from Sleek. So this is the Sleek Life Proof Concealer. And this is 7.5 mils. That is huge. So this is 6 99 which means it is affordable. It is like more on the higher end. It's about the same price as the new maxi versions of the Revolution Concealer. But I'm actually so excited to give this a go. It's full coverage, which I need. I definitely need something to help like cover up these like dark circles here because I constantly look tired and I know I constantly look tired. That's probably because I am tired. <laughs> but let's hope that this brightens and makes me look a little bit more awake. It is matte, so it's not gonna be super glowy. If you have dry under eyes, just be aware of that. I'm in that fortunate position where I don't tend to get any dryness around my under eyes. It tends to just affect the cheek area mostly. So we're going to give this a go in an upcoming get ready with me. So this is the LA Girl Pro Contour Powder. So this one is also £5.99, £6, something like that. So super affordable. And I picked up light. I thought light because this looked quite cool toned. And looking at it now, I'm not 100%. Like, it reminds me a little bit of the, um, of the Continuity Contour Pan in Bones 4. That's what this kind of shade reminds me of. I think it's Bleach London. But it also comes with this powder. And to me, this is a powder that I would use to add coverage to my under eyes. I have, like, 
a need to do that because I have like such dark circles. I do like a powder that was going to add some coverage. This isn't like a highlighting powder that you'd expect in terms of like blinding highlight moment. This is like a matte highlighting powder so that is what you are going to get with this. And I kind of like it in terms of like it's travel friendly. You've got your like face powder if you're going to use it for all over your face or even just your under eye powder and your contour shade. That is what I like about this and I feel like the colour is going to be okay and if it's not an okay colour for contour you can always use it as a bronzer. That's my thought because I like it a little bit more of like a browner toned bronzer. I feel like orange makes me look like I'm trying to tan myself and having something this shade would work really well for either a bronzer or a contour for me. Now this is the CYO Matte Eyelid Eyeshadow in Deep Thought. Now to me, this looked like it would be a good contour shade actually. So I am just going to open it up to have a look see. It's £3.50. Like it just has this like shade about it that to me could work if I'm looking for a bit more like a warmer contour. I mean it's also nice as like a transition shade. So you don't have that in any palette you're bringing with you. Say you want to deepen up your crease because you've only got one pale one. The thing I don't like about the Urban Decay Naked 2 is it's got like one or two matte shades and one of them is your transition and then you've got all your shimmers. That is like what I did on my eyes today. I have got the Urban Decay Naked 2 and I do enjoy playing with it. But I feel like something just like this to accompany it works really well. And it is only small, so it is like super travel friendly, especially if you're just looking for someone to just throw in your crease. It is super soft. Like, look at that. So the next product I have is from Wet n Wild. I've tried out their foundation. That video is likely to be the video up before this one. So if it is, I will link it down below. If not, sneak peek, it's coming. <laughs> So this highlighter just like drew me in. It just reminded me like in the pan a little bit of like Ofra Pillow Talk. Like a beautiful like just pinky highlightery colour and I really just want to get my hands in there right now so I'm going to. So I kind of like that they've embossed a little pattern onto it. It is kind of super cute. Look at that though like it's reflecting so like madly in this light. Oh, I'm going to swatch it on my hand for you guys. It is super soft. I don't, ah, there we go. You kind of see it just reflecting here. It doesn't show up super like on the skin, but then you just see that reflection. And that's kind of what I like. I don't need it to be like super, super intense. It's just oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna swatch the O for a pillow talk next to it just so you can see the difference. So this is the difference. This is O for a pillow talk and this is Blossom Glow Wet n Wild. I think this is just definitely much deeper. So I think this would work on like quite a few more skin tones. I think this is limited to like my skin tone and a little deeper. I don't feel like you can go super deep. Whereas with this one, I feel like this would work on my skin tone and others. So I'm so excited and it's just, it's almost to me, it's like just as glowy. Like look at that, they both just reflect so gorgeously. Highlight is just one of my things and I feel like I'm just passionate about growing my collection of highlighters and just playing with them all. So this is the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pencil. Now I don't need an eye pencil like bigger than this. I don't feel like I use them enough to like warrant that. This is a coal black and that's kind of what I wanted. It's in the shade Noir Black. And Pixi is a brand that I've also like never tried before. So I'm excited to start like playing with new brands. Like it's always fun to me because I feel like I stick to like the same kind of brands because I shop in Boots and I shop in Superdrug so you kind of get all the same stuff there. But I know Pixie is coming into Boots because I've seen their skincare in there. So I'm assuming their makeup is on the way as well. So it is £12 for a full size which to me is a bit pricey for an eyeliner. But then this could last all day, you never know. And in my head, if it is going to last all day, it's worth paying more for it because you're not like topping it up so often. It does come in 22 shades as well. So if you're not into the black, if you want some more fun coloured eyeliners, we'll see how this lasts. And you can always pick it up in another colour. So mascaras, I have got two. Now, I honestly can't remember when or where I got this. This is a pure fully charged mascara. Now it's supposed to be like some kind of like magnetic -y style mascara. This is £16 and to me £16 is like it's almost what I would like pay for like a benefit one where I know I like the benefit mascaras. So this is supposed to have like 
all sorts of technology in. So this is supposed to be like magnetic. So the idea is that the opposing poles in the magnet will stop your eyelashes from sticking together. So it's like an anti-clump formula, basically, which I love. I do not want to look like a clumpy mess. I mean, I don't mind a little bit of clump if it's adding a little bit of volume, but generally speaking, my favorite mascara is Roller Lash. Initially, I liked Bad Girl Bang Bang in my Battle of the Benefit Mascaras, which I'll also link down below. But I found that transfers here a lot easier. I put myself in the eye with it a lot easier. And to me, Roller Lash just like just gives me like these lashes that I just love. I'm wearing Roller Lash today. It's probably my favorite mascara of all time currently, to be honest. But this one may trump it. You never know. This one we'll have to try in like a different video. This is the LA Girl Wispy Mascara. This one retails for six pounds, so quite a difference, like a 10 pound difference. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. So this is supposed to lift and lengthen, instant volume, smudge proof, like a lot of them claim. But this has got what looks like to be like a curved brush. And I like a curved brush actually. Roller Lash has a curved brush. And to me, it feels like you can just like hug more of your lashes and it just, I feel like I'm gonna put myself in the eye less. I think that's the biggest thing ever. You do not do that because that's how you get transfers. It also looks like the shorter bristles on it, which I like. Shorter bristles especially work really well for the lower lashes. You can get up close and sh wiggle them out. And to me, with you've got a thicker brush like the Origins Ginseng one, I struggle using that because I find it makes your lashes more clumpy. And I find like, I get a lot of transfer because I don't know how far I'm going. It all gets up coated here. And finally, we're moving on to lip products. I have two for you here. I have a glossy lip and I don't always wear glossy lips. I have a lip gloss like Rose Quartz Convert My Bobby that I think is gonna come up in a favorites and hate it's video because it basically is supposed to transform any like matte lip to a glossy lip. Now, I also wanted like a, just a regular glossy lip. To me, glossy lips, like just, I need that moisture. I feel like matte lips is something I'm gonna struggle with in the winter. I feel like you get dry lips, no matter how well you moisturize. But to me, a glossy lip just helps prevent a bit more of that dryness. It doesn't always last as long, don't get me wrong, as a matte liquid lip but we can always A, see how it lasts, and it's just gonna give your lips a bit more moisture. I mean, not all matte lips last that long anyway. Anyway, back onto the product that I was on about before I got distracted. So this is a NYX Slip Tease Lip Lacquer. I got this in the shade Let's Get Physical. Now, I am just gonna open like any lip things and just swatch, because I just, I wanna see the colors, you know? Now, to me, nude is a color that I can wear with like, most looks so that's why I was going to pick up a nude in like a glossy lip and this is like a weird applicator do you see that shape so this is the shade let's get physical it's just a perfect warm nude and it's got like this like almost like slightly pinky undertone which I really like to me it gives you a bit more natural kind of flair and I think I have like a lot of brown tone nudes like this one. I don't necessarily need like more brown tone nudes. I say that as if I wouldn't buy another brown tone nude, but I would. And this retails for seven pounds. I mean, why not look at it a go? Super affordable and a glossy lip for winter is kind of what I'm into, you know? But then I also picked up a matte. So this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. And I've heard a lot of people kind of mention these. I've never heard whether it's good or bad or anything like that. I've just seen people try them in like first impressions. And to me, first impressions with a liquid lip, it's not always easy to kind of know. I mean, you can feel if something's gonna be dry. I think your problem is long lasting. I think that's something you can question. And I think giving it a go in the long term is how you can tell if people like it. If you see people wearing it in multiple videos, for example, my foundation reviews. My foundation reviews are probably the best place to go and see what my normal products are. If I know how a product applies, I'm gonna apply it over the top of a new foundation because that way I can tell if the foundation's messing with it. This is the way you're gonna see all of the products that I use on the daily. And if you see me using certain lip products over and over again, this is lip products that are gonna last. This is like products that I love the tone of, the feel of, the color of. And to me, that is the best way to see what products people are always using and going back to. This is in the shade Give Me Mocha. 
this is super affordable this is five pounds and actually although i said it's like a brownie nude it has this like ready undertone and i do not feel like i have anything exactly this shade i kind of like this little applicator it's got that little bit that's just gonna hug the lip on the way around which i kind of like it kind of feels quite thin i don't know if you're gonna need to like build this up but this is the shade it's like a ready brown and it does have a lot more of that red than the brown i thought it was going to be a touch more like leo you know from the jeffrey star velour liquid lips that i wear like a lot but i like that this is more red and it has this brown undertone and i just couldn't help myself to be honest with this color i was out shopping with one of my best friends and she needed something of that color and i'm there like oh this one has like this undertone this is really nice and she found this and she absolutely loved it and I absolutely loved it so we both got one so I definitely will update you guys maybe in the foundation review you may see it I may try it on in the get ready with me who knows I'm so excited to play with this I'm so excited to play with all of it to be honest I'm always excited to play with makeup I don't feel like this every day when I'm not excited to play with makeup but honestly I tend to get all affordable makeup because that's what's within my budget that's what's within most people's budget and if you can get really good makeup for a really good price why spend more and you can just play with it try different things with it and to me that's what that's what this is all about creating new looks like i tend to do the same glam makeup but i just love seeing if different products are going to work better for me what different effects they're going to have and i'm just so excited to film the get ready with me with all of this I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's nice for you guys to kind of see what's coming up, some of the new things that are out that like I'm gonna be trying and that way you don't have to spend your money on something that maybe you don't like, maybe you don't like how it looks on me, maybe I think it's poor quality and you'll be able to see that it's poor quality and you won't be buying it. To me, I'm here to save you money and to show you some of the good products that you might wanna spend your money on. None of my links in this will be like affiliate or anything like that. So there's no pressure from me or anyone to be buying any of this stuff. This is just us kind of playing with makeup together. So if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you press that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload. And always leave a comment down below if there's any more makeup you want me to try. I could pick it up and it might be included in another haul.